all systems go. Clear for liftoff. Hey there, everybody, and happy race day, and welcome to this week's NASCAR Quick Hit here at Ship It Nation. As always, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does go a long way in helping us with the YouTube algorithm. Before we go ahead and start uh, our quick little breakdown of the Toyota Owners 100 400 here at Richmond Raceway, let me of course mention code HOOP15. HOOP15 gives you 15% off any monthly or yearly membership plan. And of course, we cover the NFL, the NBA, uh, PGA, which uh, is going on currently as I am speaking. Uh, MMA, there's uh, UFC in Atlantic City tonight. We cover that. NHL, MLB, which just started. Uh, college football, which will be here before you know it. And of course, our favorite, NASCAR. All right. So once again, that is code HOOP15 for 15% off any monthly or yearly membership plan. All right. Quickly, once again, this week we are focusing on the Toyota owners, the Toyota owners 400 at Richmond Raceway. We got 400 laps, which equals out to 280 Dominator points. And as always, we want to zero in on those. Uh, green flag is at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And we are once again on Fox here in America and back on TSN5 in Canada. So 7 o'clock Sunday night, Fox in the U.S. and TSN5 in Canada. All right, let me go ahead and switch here to my overlay. All right, let's go ahead and break down uh, some of my favorite drivers in plays for today's Toyota Owners 100 400. Uh, and the first thing I would like to mention or really go over is the practice speeds um, from this weekend uh, and why I'm not going to be going and using them too much as I normally would when building lineups. Um, so this week at Richmond, the um, drivers in group A had a considerable, and I mean a considerable on track advantage during practice. Um, compared to those drivers in group B. Okay. So, um, and, and this is maybe even more important. Um, practice today kicked off at 10 30 in the morning and I believe was finished by like 11 15, 11 20, something like that. Uh, and as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, uh, the race is seven o'clock on Sunday night. Uh, so while the ambient uh, temperature I don't think is going to be much different. Uh, this is a night race. Uh, the track temperature will drop. Grip will increase. Okay. So uh, if you are using the practice data to help craft your lineups this weekend, I would really only compare um, those drivers that are in group A to other drivers in group A, then as well as only comparing those drivers in group B to other drivers in group B. Okay. All right, let's go into some of my favorite plays for this weekend's race. Uh, and of course, I'm going to start off with my uh, probably my favorite Dominator play. And I don't think I'm going uh, too far on a limb by stating that that is one Kyle Larson. Uh, Kyle Larson qualified first for the Toyota Owners 400 at Richmond. Uh, and while uh, I just mentioned not to go too much into practice, he was the fastest uh, overall as well as the fastest in Group A. Uh, and he backed that up with uh, the fastest qualifying speed by starting first, all right? Uh, last summer, Larson led 93 laps here at Richmond, so he knows how to get around here. Uh, and 
he gets the very first pit stall at Richmond. Now, a few weeks ago at Phoenix, we mentioned how important the first pit stall was at Phoenix. Uh, it is similar here at Richmond. Is it as big of an advantage at Richmond at Phoenix as it is at Phoenix? Probably not. Uh, however, it is still quite the advantage. Um, and to have Kyle Larson to be my favorite dominator play starting on the pole and getting uh and having that very first pit stall uh i am uh, i'm all in on young money this weekend uh next up i would like to focus on one martin truex jr uh he is of course a part of the joe gibbs racing stable and he is rolling off seventh this weekend at richmond uh and really he has just been amazing at short flat tracks um particularly in the next gen era uh really from 2023 on he starts seventh uh like i said this weekend uh and he's led a total of 154 laps at richmond in the next gen era okay so in the next gen era which is 22 and 23 he's led a total of 154 laps uh also um and this is just anecdotal but it seems like Martin Truex Jr. does particularly well in night races, which this is. And um, he has the, I believe it's like the Auto Club Insurance Scheme or something. Um, he does incredibly well when he uses this paint scheme. Now, should you go all in on Martin Truex Jr. because he seems to be pretty good at nighttime races and he's driving and using a particular paint scheme? probably not um but uh i would go in on him because of his talent <laughs> and uh and his speed all right so uh martin shurex jr he starts seventh 2800 on DraftKings and 13,000 on FanDuel. The next driver I like to talk about this week is one bad Brad Keselowski. He's rolling off 23rd on Sunday, and he has been knock, knock, knocking on Victor Lane's door. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sorry, I had to finish that thought. Uh, he's been knocking on Victor Lane's door for quite a while uh, and has yet to uh, bust it down. Now, of course, he's a past champion so he has won before but it's just been a while since he's won period and i'm not sure if he's actually won in the next gen i don't have that stat in front of me now uh keselowski has been fantastic at richmond he led 102 laps here just last summer um and he turned that into a sixth place finish um his teammate here chris busher is also stellar here um i expect both of them to be up towards the front uh on Sunday, the only reason that I'm highlighting Brad today is because he starts 23rd compared to uh, Busher's 14th. Uh, and truthfully, in that same breath, uh, let me just mention Kaz Grala, not Kaz Grala, um, Justin Haley, Justin Haley of Rick Ware Racing. Um, he's not going to be, uh, I'm, I'm going to feature a value play every week, and he's not my official value play of the week. Uh, but Justin Haley has had a very good season. For the equipment he's in and rick ware racing um works incredibly close with roush fenway keselowski racing so i wouldn't be surprised if we saw another good day from justin haley uh however as i mentioned just a couple seconds ago i am going to start talking about what i consider to be my favorite value or quote unquote punt play of the slate uh and this week that driver is one carson hosevar uh carson hosevar uh, is 5900 on DraftKings, 5200 on FanDuel. rose off 25th on sunday um practice speeds nothing to write home about um however uh he has had some pretty good runs at short flak traps uh, short flat tracks in his um limited time at uh in the next gen cars uh and just last week at phoenix he finished not last week a couple weeks ago at phoenix he finished 15th um and that's the same package that they will be using here at richmond um 
I don't expect him to get a ton of ownership. Um, and at 5,900, uh, starting 25th, I will take the good driver upside uh, on one Carson Hosevar. Okay. Uh, and again, I also like Justin Haley as well. But for my official favorite value pump play of the week, that's going to go to Carson Hosevar. Um, and that's actually all I have for today's quick hit video. I think this one went kind of quickly. We're already oh, only 10 minutes in. Um, as always, I, and once again, I don't think I, I forget to introduce myself at the beginning of these videos. I am Eric, also known as the game. Uh, and I will be on discord answering any and all questions on Sunday. Now due to the holiday, I probably won't be as active. Um, up until like four or five o'clock eastern time in the discord uh but green flag is at seven o'clock so uh plenty of time between now and then to build uh fantasy nascar lineups so as always before we wrap up let me once again mention code hoop 15 hoop 15 gives you 15 percent off any monthly or annual membership plan and of course, we cover NFL, NBA, PGA, MMA, NHL, MLB, college football, and of course, NASCAR. All right, everybody. Thank you once again for spending just a little bit of your time with me today. Uh, and have a happy holiday if you celebrate. And of course, a happy race day. Let's ship it, everybody. <laughs>